We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Adam Olivetti and Kelsey Cooper. To the love of my life, Kelsey, when asked to pen my vows of love to you, it made me first think of a story I've never shared from my grandfather, Leo Olivetti Sr., or as I called him, Poppy. In grade six, we were given a list of questions to ask our grandparents to get to know their lives a little bit better. I cannot remember most of the questions save just one. What was the happiest day of your life? I asked, unsure of the answer he would give. He replied instantly, the day I married your grandmother, Tony. It wasn't so much the answer as it was the way his voice changed in that moment. He looked at me, got quiet, as if he weren't looking at me, but through me. He no longer was in his recliner. He was no longer in the same room as I was. He was back again in that moment in his mind, and he quickly came back and smiled, though no more words were said. No explanation was needed. I knew from that day, whenever I was to be married, it would be a powerful moment I could relive at any time. But how? Only you would understand this when I say that the key to all of my memories and ours, our love, lies in the colors. I've often described moments we've shared, first starting with the colors. Like when I proposed to you in Georgia in our small cabin, the green of the leaves, the brown of the woods, and the stones beneath my knees, and they're gray, all surrounding you in the center. When we first walked in this building, I saw the colors of the walls, their greens, their reds, their purples, like the edges of a puzzle or the frame of a picture. Slowly moving to the golds of the candlestick, closer to the center, you, the red of your hair, to the blue-green of your eyes, to the white of your dress. I vow to you, my love, these colors will guide me back to you, to this moment, where we now stand. Our love will see many trials and will endure for richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, and I will honor and cherish them all. But when we are older, many years from now, should either of our memories fade, we can hold each other's hands as we are now and tell each other a story, a story of the colors, and we'll be right back here. This I vow to you with all of my heart. I, um, I wrote my vow in pieces. The first part, Nathaniel Rateliff just played, and we danced to our wedding song in the kitchen right after breakfast. These simple, perfect mornings are what I'm looking forward to living forever. I know not all of our mornings will be like this. We will have our highs, we will have our lows, and days we're running around, days we only see each other for a quick goodbye, a kiss, and I love you. While I run to work, or you go for a round of golf. <laughs> but I look forward to every single one of them, knowing that they're going to be with you. My second part, <laughs> it was 2 or 3 in the morning. I remember this because I looked at the time on my phone after you told me it was too late for us to be on our phones. <laughs> it was uh, February 14th, the first few minutes of Valentine's Day, and I asked you to be my Valentine. You rolled your eyes and you said, of course. And when I said forever, you said no. <laughs> it gets better, it gets better. <laughs> you said no, because if we have a little girl one day, we were both going to be your Valentines. I can't look back, or I can't look back and pinpoint exactly when I fell in love with you, or when I knew that I loved you. But there are a million moments like this that grows my love for you every day. Bits and pieces, each and every day with you, that make me smile, make me feel safe, warm, and turn every place we are together into home. The, uh, <laughs> the stolen sips of coffee, the wildly outlandish compliments that are often more confusing than complimentary. <laughs> like when you call me exotic because I'm a redhead. <laughs> and taking my hand when I know, and I didn't even know that I needed to be grounded. You are the person with which I can be my truest self. And finally, my tertiary part. <laughs> For all of that that you do for me and for our lives together, I promise to be your encouragement through every obstacle, your celebration at every peak, and your strength and your hope through every valley. 
I promise I'll always be your biggest fan, your best friend, and your confidant. I promise to cherish you, to respect you, and above all, to love you forever. By the power of your love and commitment, and the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. <laughs> Congratulations, and she is the